comic book fans of the world, the first issue to He-Man and the Masters of the Multiverse came out from DC Comics. Yes, there is a multiverse with the Masters of the Universe franchise, because of course there is. This was written by Tim Seeley, and it was illustrated by Dan Fraga. Major, major spoilers for this first issue, so if you have not read it, I am warning you now in advance. If you're not aware of this, there is an anti-He-Man that was introduced in some German storylines having to do with He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. It wasn't anything that made huge headlines in the U.S., but there was a figure that was made part of the Masters Universe Classics line, and even though his story has evolved and changed, this storyline looks like it's going to be centered around him. This evil He-Man is going around the individual universes, killing their He-Man, and collecting his power swords. It seems simple enough, right? However, being in that he's the villain in his universe, the hero or his counterpart is going to be Skeletor, or in this case, Keldor. This issue introduces a couple different versions of He-Man that we already knew existed in other mediums, but seeing them together has a bit of a comical aspect of it, and also a bit of a nostalgic fact too. We have the live-action He-Man from the Masters Universe film that came out in the 1980s, along with Gwildor. We have a video game version of He-Man from the Tapped He-Man game, which I thought was kind of funny for them to show that. And this ends off with the new adventures of He-Man, where it's going to be taking place either in the future, in space, or some sort of combination of them, or a completely different universe altogether. It's a really awesome first issue, and I'm glad that there's a writer out there wanting to combine all of these different elements together for an evil He-Man that could be all-powerful. The way the story starts up is really shocking. You don't expect both the Sorceress and He-Man, and hell, even Skeletor, all being slain by this evil version of He-Man. There is no holding back in this at all and no one is safe. It does make me think though that maybe Tim Seeley is borrowing some of the elements from the Spider-Verse storyline and that storyline all the Spider-Men from the different universes could potentially be killed off so I kind of feel like there may be some similarities there but I don't really want to go too much into that because this is He-Man and the Masters Universe and I feel as though this is going to go in a completely different direction of which I am excited to see. I will say though I do like seeing Keldor as being a hero in this and maybe I'm reading a little bit too much into the dialogue that Evil Lynn or Lynn or Ms. Powers has towards Keldor, but she mentions something about Beast Man, and it kind of feels as though maybe she's referencing that Beast Man has a thing for Keldor. I mean, I'll just kind of leave it at that point. I am super stoked for this storyline. I love Tim Seeley's writing, and I also love Dan Fragg's artwork, too. I won't go any more into it. I thought this was a great first issue. If you were interested in reading it, it is from DC Comics, so it's available just about anywhere, or if you want to go to dccomics.com, you can download a digital copy directly from them. Anyways, though, thank you guys for watching me this video. If you haven't done it yet, check out my Patreon site, check out my social media site, check out my website, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll stay, and I'll see you guys later. Gotta give a major shout out to my buddy Bill. Bill, thank you for sending me this Professor Xavier from the Marvel Legends line. Oh my god, it's so incredibly cool. You are awesome. Also, thanks for the happy birthday wishes.